first trying to learn how to code, all I was focused on was how can I land my first job? And with that, a lot of times, whether it was YouTube or reading articles, I'd always know that to, in order to become a front-end developer, I needed to study HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, as well as one of the three major frameworks, which is like React, Angular, Vue. Like that was my way to get a tech job. And I did that route and I ended up getting one. So it worked. However, it took me a while to learn how to get that first job because I didn't have any understanding of data structures and algorithms. And this video is for those who are just taking that same route that I took, but not understanding data structures and algorithms. And you can really improve your ability to code and it could put you in a much better position to land a tech job if you learn data structures and algorithms. These are some reasons why data structures and algorithms are so important. And in this video, I'm not gonna go deep into data structures and algorithms, but I am gonna tell you some key terms that you should look out for, that you should study, because these are data structures and algorithms that can really be beneficial to how you program and how to solve problems and be efficient as you're solving those problems. Now, I'm only gonna give you all five sorting algorithms these are the main ones that I've used and that I understand. And so the first three is the bubble sort, insertion sort, and selection sort. These are three elementary sorting algorithms and there are much more, but these are the three that I know. And the other two, if you want to show that you know what you're doing as a programmer, these are the two that you should like know. And the two sorting algorithms that you should know is quick sort and merge sort. These are two that you're probably gonna use when you get to a level where you feel comfortable programming and solving problems and you're using the right best case when the guards to time complexity. Now, when it comes to data structures, keep your eye out on certain terms, which is array, stack, queue, singly linked list, doubly linked list, hash tables, binary search. These are things that you should keep your eye out on. These are things that I know there are more, like I said, but those are the ones that I know. Those are the ones that you can just start getting your mind wrapped around, like understanding, okay, what is the singly linked list? Like, why do I need to know this? Like, and just continue to learn how to use that. Because when you do like you will put yourself in a really good position to excel and land your first job as a programmer. You use these terms in your interviews and I know that it will show them that you studied and that should improve your confidence a lot. So I would recommend you all just study those, whether it's you to me or you just studying on YouTube, just spend time looking up ways to learn specifically these terms that I just mentioned, because these are kind of like the elementary, these are the type of terms and medium that you should look at and that can kind of get you started and understanding them. And yes, these data structure and algorithms are going to take time, just as much time as you learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, as well as React or Angular and Vue, it's going to take time, just as much time learning this as it's going to take learning those, because it's just, it's complex and that's how coding is. That's why it's not something that you should just rush and think that you're gonna just make a lot of money quickly because this stuff takes work. It takes time to understand what's going on and these formulas and these concepts and why you're writing code in certain ways, how you can save time. Like it takes time to understand all this, but the more that you understand, the better you will be. And then eventually the the success, the money, the notoriety, the, the stability will come. You will understand how to succeed as a developer and that will in turn give you much more stability in this tech industry. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Espero que tengas un buen día. Nos vemos. Mm -hmm.